Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for joining me for a chortle and a chuckle. Just about at the million man mark. Uh, slightly premature, but you, can, you can't blame me for uh, being overzealous. I got a big nut to cover uh, and I do have some splaining to do. I've been secretly squirreling away into a slush fund monies from the beer fund, what patrons put in uh, a couple bucks here and there every month. Admittedly, I've been reticent to get into hot CNC action despite its obvious advantages. It's a fucking robot what cuts metal. <laughs> Need I say more? But there is a huge barrier to entry in that it's expensive or it's frig. Now, this thing is a payment bigger than my mortgage. So she is a big nut to cover and uh, despite my better three quarters uh, trepidation, let's say, on the strength of guys, patrons, putting in uh, two bucks, five bucks, some of them, into the pot every month to help to make cool shit and put it on the internet. Now, reciprocity being what it is, I don't feel right buying a big thing like this and uh, not, well, not giving back. Okay, what's the big idea? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, uh, uh, T51, that's the probe. I'm just making a benchy here for this thing, essentially. Here's the big idea. This is your machine. Wait, what? How the fuck is that gonna work? Well, quite frankly, I don't know. But what I do know is you set to poke in the internet with a stick and there is some very interesting porn what pops out. Uh, you think about this. I'm a, uh, I'm a simple man, but, and this is a very simple idea. You watching this video on the other end of an inner tube, you got a fantastic idea, but you have all these barriers to entry. We just got rid of all of them because we now have a five axis CNC machine. We can do short production runs. We can do prototyping. Now YouTube, good, bad, and different, it's a lot of things. One thing it is fantastic at is reciprocal sharing. That red upload button in yonder corner, that's the same for me as it is for you. It's a fantastic leveling device. The easiest thing to do is to make a little smell phone video, stick it on YouTube, and we'll have a look and based on the merits or dismerits, no, the merits of each uh, project, we'll decide what we're actually gonna machine and what we're not gonna machine. Now admittedly, I'm sticking my neck way out in betwixt those two old rusty nails on the stump with all the, uh, the ax marks on it and blood stains. But I, I wanna reiterate how fantastic it is it's fucking amazing that we're not beholden to any kind of corporate interest we don't need to add uh sponsorships or affiliate links you know check out this fantastic new banana peeler 15 percent off now at my amazon affiliate fuck that fucking noise one thing i want to i want to reiterate here hold uncle bumblefuck he ain't hurting okay i think we got this nut covered unless i piss too many guys off but you know, what's the worst that happens? I end up in a cardboard box with my two kids and wife under the Georgia Street Viaduct. It's fucking, I'm not gonna starve to death. It's Canada. I really don't know how it's gonna work out. The nuts and bolts of it, that side of things, you know, doing all the Fusion 360 and the tool pathing and all that sort of stuff. Gonna need lots of help. Gonna need lots of help. But that's the beauty of YouTube. It's a two way street. You learn from me, I learn from you. It's, a fucking beautiful thing, the age we live in. Spanks for watching. Hey, that upload button, 
It's your time to shine, partner. Keep your dick in a vice. <laughs>